Excellent. Thank you for coming. It's Wednesday evening. This is not part of the class. Uh, that's sliding. Just a quick, uh, oh, actually, got my phone a little bit. Um, I like the phone somewhat. I like the internet. I like the little gadgets that we have. They can be very useful. Uh, but I've been hiking uh, a little bit more often without my phone, although I really like getting the videos of the animals I, I see. But the other day, I was um, hiking, and I heard the sound over to the right, and I looked, and there was a deer standing there. And I, my first thought was, oh, I don't have my phone to record it. And then I, then I was like, okay. And then I just stood there, and then the deer started, like, walking. And then he walked all the way kind of in front of me, and then he crossed me, and then he went up into the trees. And um, having, it, it's so weird to even say this, but having experienced it just uh, physically with my eyes rather than through my phone videotaping it, it was a uh, like super uh, magical feeling, which is weird because it's like, that's normal, but it felt more like the, ex like I experienced, like the experience of being 10 feet from the deer. I really felt it inside of me, like almost physical, but like uh, in some other way, it, whereas when I'm recording something and looking at my screen, I don't feel it uh, the same. So they, I guess they both have their place, but it was really nice to experience that deer just walking right next to me and I didn't have any electronics to record him and it only just stuck inside my mind and inside of my body. Anyway, uh, thank you for coming. We shall start from the seated position once I scoot all the way back. So however you can get comfortable, we cross the legs, cross them as simply as possible. We're going to put the hands on the knees, straight spine to the crown of the head. We begin often with this one. We're going to draw a circle on the ceiling, one direction at first. We're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, long and deliberate as we keep moving right here. Excellent, let's go the opposite direction, please. Nice, long breathing, lots of oxygen. Great, back to center, reach the right arm all the way up. Oh, that was great, it cracked my elbow. Now we're gonna bring the arm down the back, left hand's gonna grab that elbow, head pushes against the arm, core in, breathing, staring straight forward. Excellent, other side please, left hand all the way up and then down uh, the, the back, grab the elbow, hand pushes against the arm, couple of breath here. Great, let's push the walls all the way out, really opening the hands. Thumbs pulling back, fingers opening wide. We're gonna do an early twist, right hand can grab the uh, left knee, left hand 
uh, either right behind you or all the way around the back if you're feeling opening up this early. I'm going to keep my hand on the ground behind me. Keep the spine straight, and we're going to look at the like the eyeball line on the wall. And then all the way over, please, to the other side. Really getting long through the spine and then feeling that twist in the torso as the head just goes for the ride. Excellent, all the way back around. The secret to standing without using your hands is to cross your feet in front of you and lean your center of gravity out over that and up we come. We're gonna go straight into the sun salutations, which we're gonna do for a little bit. Big toes together, ankles apart, thumbs out, core in. Let's just take a couple of breaths here, feeling like a mountain, strong. We're gonna breathe in, reach up and look up, prayer to the moon. Breathing out, we're gonna forward fold, attempting to keep the legs straight so the hands might go on the shins or the ground. We're gonna look up, shoulder blades together. Forward fold on the uh, out breath and then all the way back up, reaching out and up. Hands in prayer to the moon, back down through the heart center and then all the way up on the in breath. Breathing out, forward folding. We look up and we forward fold all the way up again, reaching out and up, down through the heart center and back up on the in breath. Breathing out, forward folding. We look up, core in, shoulder blades together, forward fold out breath. Back up, reaching out and up, down through the heart, all the way up again on the in-breath. Breathing out, forward folding. We look up, lengthen the tail through the eyeballs, forward fold on the out-breath. Back up, reaching out and up, down again through the heart, all the way back, in, up breath into the nose. Breathing out, forward folding. And we look up and we forward fold. Back up, reaching out and up. Hands in prayer down through the heart center. All the way up again on the in breath. Breathing out, forward folding. We look up. And we're going to step back to the top of push up with the belly and legs tight. We're going to hold for a couple of breaths on the first one. If you prefer, you can put the knees down and take it easy. Stay tight in the core of the legs. We're going to lower down or drop, and then we roll forward, up dog, and down dog. Great. Feet two fists apart. You could bend uh, one leg, push the opposite heel towards down, or you could stay still, breathing in the nose, looking at the navel. Great, walk your way up to the top of the mat, feet back together, fingers low, we look up. And we forward fold, all the way back up, reaching out and up, down through the heart center, all the way up again on the in-breath. Breathing out, forward folding, fingers low. We look up, stepping again, top of tight push-up. We lower drop. Up dog and down dog. If you want more movement up on the toes on the in breath, down with the heels on the out breath, or staying still. Breathing in the nose though. Good step or jump, top of the mat, toes together. We look up and forward fold. All the way back up, reaching out and up. 
Hands in prayer back down through the heart and all the way up again on the in-breath. Breathing out, forward folding. We look up, step uh, top of push up. We lower drop, up dog and down dog. And we're gonna breathe here. Great step or jump, top of the mat, toes together. We look up and we forward fold. Let's come all the way up, prayer uh, to the moon. We're gonna hold that prayer and look up, pull the core in. And then if you wanna arch back, we'll lift the heart a little bit. And then we're gonna push the walls out again. Let's take the feet a bit apart. Take a couple of breaths here. And from the hips up, we're going to turn and look to the right. And all the way over, please, to the other side. Very nice. Back to center, arms down and feet back together. Big toes touching, ankles a bit apart, shoulders back, core in, thumbs out, feels a bit better to me. Let's sit in chair. Good. Up over, forward folding, fingers low. We look up, stepping again, uh, top of push up. We lower, drop. Up dog, down dog. Right foot warrior one, left foot pivots out flat. Knee over the ankle in the front. Let's reach the left shoulder and hip forward as we push into the outside edge of the left foot. We're going to take a couple of breaths here. This is kind of warrior one with a self-adjustment. Great. Touch the ceiling. And again, hands back down, stepping. We lower drop. Up dog. Down dog, left foot stepping, right foot pivots out there. Good. I reach the right arm forward and the right hip a bit. Back leg is straight, pushing into the foot. Good. Touch the ceiling. Again, hands back down, stepping, have a push up. We lower drop, up dog, and down dog. And we're going to breathe here. All right, step or jump, top of the mat. We look up, we forward fold, feet and knees sitting in chair again, standing shoulders back, tight core. Let's continue, we sit in chair. And up over, forward folding. We look up, step in, top push up. We lower, drop, up dog, and down dog. Uh, right foot warrior one, left foot turns out. Hands in prayer above the head, core in and up, looking up. If you feel that arching back, go ahead and lift the heart. Good. Hands back down again, stepping top of push up. We lower drop, up dog, down dog. Left foot stepping, right foot turns out. Hands in prayer above the head. Maybe looking up. Maybe arching back. Excellent, hands down again, stepping top of push up. We lower drop, up dog and down dog. And we're gonna stay right here.
All right, step or jump, top of the mat. We look up, we forward fold. Feet and knees as sitting in chair, standing shoulders back. We're gonna do this next one uh, with warrior two. So again, Ukatasana. And up over forward folding. We look up, step in and have a push up. We lower drop, up dog, down dog. Right foot warrior two. My warrior two stance is a bit longer than warrior one. I reach the arms up. We're gonna take several breaths here. Core engaged, breathing, looking at the right hand. Turn the right hand so the palm faces the ceiling. We're gonna arch back and hold a little bit. Breathing, looking up along the elbow, keeping the knee over the ankle in the front here. Great, hands are back down, step back, we lower drop. Up dog, down dog, left foot, uh, warrior two. Arms back up. So we're light in the shoulders, big in the breathing, staring at the left hand. Turn that left palm to face the uh, ceiling. We're gonna arch back, looking up along the elbow. Keep the knee over the ankle, the breath in the nose. Great, hands down again, stepping type of push up. We lower drop, up dog. And down dog, we're gonna stay here a little longer. Good step or jump, top of the mat. We look up and we forward fold. Let's sit in chair. We're gonna put cactus arms on the chair. We're gonna take a few breaths here. Imagine you're walking through the door and each arm is being pushed further back by the door frame. And let's twist. We're gonna take the right elbow outside of the left knee, bring that left knee back forward. It probably moved, hands in prayer, fingers to the face. You could open the arms if you prefer. Couple of breaths here, more. Good, forward fold and just rest a little. Let everything fall off the back. Excellent, sit uh, in chair again, cactus arms up. Imagine the door frame pushing your arms back. And then let's twist the other side, left elbow outside. Bring that right knee back forward. And we breathe here. Good, forward fold, feet apart. Distance of maybe the hips. You can grab elbows or prayer. We're gonna let everything uh, fall off the top of the head. You can bounce if you like. Engage the core, and let's come all the way up and uh, touch the ceiling. And then all the way back down, peace fingers. 
coming under the big toes. It's okay to bend the legs. We'll try to make them straight. Elbows away from the ears, top of the head down. Let's breathe here. All the way back up again to the ceiling. And all the way back down, each hand under each foot from the front so the toes touch the crease of the wrist. You could pull up on the feet if you like. Maybe the legs are bent, mine are. Excellent. Let's stand top of the mat. We're just going to take a moment. Shoulders back, core in. We're going to pivot through the standing series tonight. So uh, we'll step the left foot back about the distance of one of our legs. Uh, right foot straight forward, back foot 40, 90-ish upward pointing. Arms out over the legs. We're doing triangle for the first one. So we're going to reach out. And then right hand down, left arm up, we breathe here. Right, let's come up. We're going to pivot, right toes 45, left toes out. We're going to reach out over the left uh, foot and then left hand down, right arm up. Breathing in the nose. If possible, looking to the reaching thumb. Good, back up, we pivot again, left toes 45, right toes out. We're gonna shorten the stance a couple of few inches. We're gonna lean slightly forward and do like a half superhero with the left hand reaching forward. So get that length and then we twist triangle, left hand down, right arm up. Breathing here, lengthening the spine. Legs straight as best you can, feet flat. Excellent, back up. We pivot to the other side, right toes 45, left toes out. Let's reach that right arm uh, way out and forward. And then right hand down. So I hold that stretch, sorry, and hold that length out for a moment. And then now down. Right back up, we pivot again, left toes 45, right toes out. Relengthen the stance because we're gonna do warrior two. And we're gonna hold here for several breaths. Good. 
And let's do extended side angle, forearm on the leg or hand down, your choice. Long reaching the whole side, like a big 45 degree angle. If the hand's down, the angle's a little different, but reaching forward, breathing in the nose. Good, back up, we'll straight the right leg so we could pivot, right toes 45, left toes out. A little bit of hold on the warrior two. And nice, again, forearm on the leg or hand down, whatever you did on the other side. Let's come straight into the base, of course. Toes slightly splayed, knees opening up with the hands on the knees. Let the rear end drop down as the shoulders kind of stay in place because the arms are straight. I'm gonna rotate the right shoulder forward and then the left and a little bit of back and forth here. Good. Let's hold the uh, moon, both hands up. Good, straight the legs, uh, turn the feet to run straight forward, all the way up with the hands to the sky and then all the way down into the forward fold. Fingertips on the line of the big toes, head towards that line, palms towards down, elbows trying to go back through the legs. I'm a bit tighter today than I was the other day, but this is the way that it goes, keep breathing. All the way back up, we're gonna reach out to the ends of the fingers and behind the back, we shall intertwine those fingers. And uh, of course we forward fold again. And stay in the forward fold as best you can and lift the toes, hold them up for a couple of breaths and then back down and we're gonna breathe here. Good, all the way up again. Let's touch the ceiling. And all the way down again, we're gonna grab shins, ankles, or big toes with the peace fingers. Keep the legs straight, elbows away from the ears. We're gonna stay down low, both hands over to the right leg for a moment, nose towards the knee, top of the head towards the top of the foot. Great, and we'll do the other side. Right shoulder under and through.
Excellent. Let's uh, come up, but we're going to shorten the stance to about three, three and a half feet so that we can do pyramid. So left toes to the back, right foot about 45 degrees. And we're going to bring the arms out so that we can bring the hands behind the back, shoulder blades together, we look up. We're going to come down and look at the left foot in the pyramid. There's going to be options. I'm going to stay in pyramid tonight because my legs are tight. Uh, if you want to do warrior three, go ahead and push up and stand on the left foot uh, like a big capital letter T. From warrior three, if you wish to do the half moon, it's left hand uh, down with the right leg still up and the right arm reaching to the sky. If you want to twist the moon, please switch the hands. Great, put the right foot back down. We're going to come up and we're going to pivot. So left toes 45, right toes out. I like to bring the arms out uh, for the rotation again. And then behind the back, shoulder blades together, core in for a moment. We're going to keep the shoulder blades back and we're going to come down and uh, look at the right foot. We're staying in pyramid first here, breathing. And if you did it on the other side, uh, go ahead and do warrior three. We'll stay there for several breaths. From uh, warrior three, you can do half moon, which is right hand down, keeping that left leg up with the left hand reaching to the sky. And you could twist that uh, half moon. Nice. Let's stand. And if you feel like moving around, go ahead and move around. And we're going to do tree standing on the left foot. Uh, you can grab the right ankle and get that foot locked on the leg way above the knee, hands to the heart. Arms up if you prefer. Just a couple of breaths here today. Great, let's do the other side, standing on the right, left is coming up. And again, he has the heart, or lots of hand variations. They got the tree, they got the prayer right up to the sun again. Great, both feet down, feet about the distance of the hips, toes slightly splayed. We're gonna come into the squat, elbows into the legs, hands in prayer pushing together, we'll lengthen up the back. A Couple of breaths here, maybe a little bit more than a couple. Good, hands in prayer uh, forward, and then we'll come in all the way up to the ceiling, and then all the way back down and all the way up again, and all the way back down, and all the way up again, and back down, and one more all the way up, and one more back down. We're gonna do cat-cow. If you wanna double up the mat, I'm gonna do that so my knees have more padding. Knees are two fists apart, hands under the shoulders, wrists under the shoulders, we drop the belly down, third eye looking, and as we breathe out, we're gonna look at the legs, but the eyes are closed in the moving, so this is just the pointing of the uh, nose almost.
Go ahead, back to center. Look over the right shoulder and see the tail. And then over to the left. We're going to do sidearm balance. So your right side, think of your right hand going to the right knee to the right foot on a straight line. And then step the left arch to that straight line. And then left arm comes all the way up. I've run out of mat back there. So I'm not going to stack, but if you want to stack your feet, put the right leg back and then put the left on top of the right. You could also open the legs. Great. Let's do the other side. So left hand down, left knee down, running a straight line all the way to the foot. We reach the arch of the right foot onto that straight line and back up with the right arm. And if whatever you did on the other side, so if you stack the feet, the right foot should be on top though. So I have to slide the left under and then rearrange them. And then if you want to lift that right leg up, a lot of work. Good, back down to hands and knees. We're gonna step the right foot top of the mat, keeping the left knee down and reach the arms up in a nice big funnel here. Couple of breaths like this. And let's twist left elbow outside of right leg. Hands in prayer, pull in towards the chest, right shoulder back. Those of you that prefer can roll back on the ball of the left foot. Anyways, we'll be staying here for several breaths. Great, we're gonna do the other side. So put the right knee back and the left foot up to the top. Arms uh, back up, we'll take several breaths here. And right elbow outside of that left leg, hands in prayer. And if you uh, roll back on the ball of the foot, do whatever you did on the other side. We're going to hang out just like this. Excellent, switch the knees again, left knee back, right foot to the top. And now we're coming straight up with the arms. We're gonna take a few breaths like this. Excellent, down on the inside, maybe hand, uh, right hand right inside the uh, right foot. Maybe coming forward, trying to bring the elbows down, maybe getting the elbows down. I'm going to sit in between today, and we're going to breathe like this.
Great, let's uh, switch sides. Right knee back, left foot uh, up to the top. And again, arms are straight up. We're gonna breathe a little bit like this. And then again, uh, down on the inside, somewhere in between, or elbows down or hands down. Keep the uh, left knee pulling against your side and shoulder. If you roll up your mat, you may wish to unroll it. So we're going to come back to hands and knees, but we're going to come to pigeon from hands and knees. So we're going to bring the right knee up towards the right wrist and the right foot towards the left wrist. And we'll crawl that left uh, knee back. You can look up. And we're going to come down, forearms, head down, or arms all the way out, forehead down. And we're going to keep on focusing on our breathing right here. Excellent, let's come up and uh, switch. So right knee uh, back for the moment, left knee up towards the left wrist, left foot up towards the right hand, right knee crawls back further. Uh, we're gonna come back down. Excellent. However is uh, easy for you, let's go ahead and sit down. And we're going to extend the left leg out with the right foot against the uh, thigh. And we're going to do both moving and staying still on the Janusur Sasana. So left uh, hand grabbing the left toes. You can put a belt on your foot. Keep the leg straight up on the in-breath and all the way down, including the shoulder and all the way up again, over and over, out breath on the downward fold. And next time you're up, go ahead and stay up. We're going to reach long fingers to fingers. We'll look to the reaching hand. And then we're going to come down for a couple of breaths, trying to bring the right hand also to the left foot, nose towards the knee. Great, let's switch sides, right leg out, left sole in, and right on right, and up on the in-breath, and then all the way down, 
and again up and again back down and over and over, please. Out breath, always on the downward fold. Uh, next time you're up, go ahead and stay up, continuing the breathing as if you were moving. And we're going to come down for a couple of breaths. Great. Soles of the feet together. Pull them in nice and tight. Left hand grabs the small toes and right hand on top of that. We're going to sit up tall. You could butterfly the legs if you like. Try to lock the shoulders back. We're going to breathe here. And keep the shoulders back as we lengthen out and Forward fold, pushing the elbows against the legs, and of course, breathing. Good, back up for our twist. Reach us in a C, left foot out, right foot flat on the mat. Left arm's gonna grab the right leg, right hand behind you. Shoulder back, looking at the wall, elbow outside if you like. The foot in the front, keep it pointing up. You could even flex it a little bit. Great, let's switch sides, right leg out, left sole in. Right arm grabs that leg, we sit up tall, elbow outside if you want, keep that right foot, toes pointing up at a minimum. Great, right, back to center. Uh, we're going to be on the tailbone. I like to double up my mat. You may or may not want to. Good arms under the legs. Let's roll back onto the tail. You could stay here. You could let go, lock the shoulders back. You could straight the legs, hands in prayer, third eye of the toes or behind the head. We're going to breathe here. Go ahead, cross the legs, grab the shin, sit up nice and tall. And up again for two of five. Cross the legs, sit up tall. Up again for three. Cross the legs, sit up tall. Up for four. Cross the legs, sit up tall. 
And last one, back up. Excellent, hug the knees in. We're gonna lie back and do bridge. I think most of you do uh, Urdhva Dhanurasana sometimes. I'm just gonna do bridge. Feet down flat, feet and knees two fists apart. We're gonna lift the hips, tuck the shoulders, intertwine the fingers, push the arm down. We're gonna take several breaths right here. Whenever you're ready, let's come down. Uh, we're going to go upside down, starting with plow, kicking the feet up and over the head. You can have the hands on the back or arms on the ground, intertwined fingers. We're going to take several breaths here. And if the hands are not on the back, you can place them there now. Fingers point, pointing to the spine, thumbs kind of around the front. Maybe bring the elbows in closer, and then up we come with the feet, and we're going to stay like this. And bend the legs, knees to the ears, and we're going to roll down into dead bug, knees in the armpits. You could stay still or rock around. Go ahead, knees into the chest for a moment. And we're going to extend only the left leg out. The left hand is going to grab the right knee, right arm out to the side, and the left knee, I'm sorry, the right knee comes over to the left. And we're going to look to the right. We're going to stay here and forget all those directions, which were so many. Good. Let's come up and we're going to switch it. Right leg out, left knee up, right hand grabs, left knee, left arm out, left knee comes to the right. And all the way back to center, hug the knees into your chest. Thank yourself for coming out. And I'm going to roll up the lead a bit of a meditation. But firstly, I'm going to roll my mat up. So I find that a very helpful sitting. And then I'm going to talk about a new part of my meditation, which I've added recently. Very recently. This is the first time I'm going to record this, so go ahead and sit comfortably. Intertwine fingers with the thumbs touching, shoulders back, chin hanging slightly to the chest. I've taken all these different meditations and made my own. It used to be a three-step meditation, and now it is a four-step. So step number one is become aware of the body breathing itself. Some of us may step, uh, stay in step number one. Some of us may think the mind is too jumpy today to do only that. And on the days when the mind is too jumpy, we're going to breathe the body like we did in class, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, being aware of the breath that we are controlling, experiencing that. If the mind is too jumpy, and some days it is, 
uh, to do that as a meditation. I want you to breathe the body, experience the breath, and count the breath in your mind. One, as an in and out. Two, as an in and out. Slow, long, and deliberate. And when you go to 11, go back to one, please. And this is now the fourth step. If there are days and you really try to each one of these steps and you get to the breathing and you're counting the breath, which is a form of breathing and mantra meditation, and the mind is still insistent, like maybe there's something that the mind feels is really troubling, take five minutes, write as much as you can on a piece of paper, whatever's in your mind, whatever you want, three, four, five minutes, and then come back and we'll try to do those steps again find one that works after the writing. The writing will get rid of some of that. And we're gonna stay here for uh, just a little bit. You're welcome to stay longer in a traditional style yoga or meditation. I do 15 minutes every uh, morning. I just wanted to run through those today. We're otherwise going to finish out the yoga class by bringing the hands to the heart center, rubbing them together. Remember, meditation is yoga. Breathing, breath work, pranayama is uh, yoga. Yoga poses is yoga. It's, it's uh, multi, multi, multi. Good, arms all the way up. We're gonna take a breath in through the nose as much as we can get. We're gonna breathe in more through the mouth. Hold, tighten the core, tighten the legs, lift the floor. And then let it all out. Ah. You're living your dream, don't miss it, namaste. It's uh, danieloverberger.com. You can find links to send Venmo or PayPal donations there. And uh, that is it for this evening. I'm gonna 